today we are going to talk about biosynthesis of amino acids and in this lecture we will discuss the biosynthesis of amino acids belong to aspartate family the aspartate family includes four essential amino acids and two non essential amino acids essential amino acids are methionine threonine lysine and isoleucine and uh, non essential amino acids are aspartate and uh, asparagine essential amino acids you know have to be obtained from dietary sources because we either lack the enzyme to synthesize or make them in amount that are not sufficient non essential amino acids which can be readily synthesized in the body now four essential amino acids are synthesized via a branched pathway from aspartate you can see here in this pathway here the precursor or starting material is aspartate lysine Threonine, methionine, and isoleucine are synthesized via a branched pathway from aspartate, right? And hence are commonly called aspartate-derived amino acids. Most plants, bacteria, and fungi have enzymes for the biosynthesis of these amino acids, but animals do not. Methionine, threonine, lysine, and isoleucine are not synthesized by a human too. And should be supplemented in diet. Amino acid lysine, considered as the nutritionally most important essential amino acid. Why? Because its level is most limiting in cereal grains, and uh, cereal grains representing the largest source of plant food and feeds worldwide. Next is biosynthesis of aspartate and uh, asparagine. Uh, Asparagine, two non essential amino acids, right? The transamination of exaloacetate by enzyme aspartate transaminase yields aspartate, right? Transamination is the transfer of amino group from an amino acid to a keto group, creating a new amino acid and a keto group, right? So here, Exaloacetate, when reacts with glutamic acid, the product is aspartate and alpha ketoglutarate, right? Generally, two isoforms are, uh, uh, of aspartate occur together in the cytosol, AST1, and mitochondria, AST2. Then, asparagine, it is synthesized from aspartate by asparagine synthetase enzyme. The reaction consumes two high energy phosphate bond and uses glutamine in this second reaction as the amino donor right it goes through means this reaction goes through the formation of an activated uh, adenylate intermediate this intermediate is beta uh, aspartyl adenosine monophosphate with the release of pyrophosphate group which in turn is hydrolyzed by pyro, uh, pyrophosphatases, right? When this intermediate reacts with glutamine, the product is asparagine, glutamic acid, and adenosine monophosphate. Next is biosynthesis of aspartate 4 semi aldehyde from aspartate, right? Here, aspartate kinase. AK, this and aspartate semi aldehyde dehydrogenase enzymes catalyze the first two steps of the aspartate derived amino acid pathway right to the branch point at aspartate semi aldehyde. Right, these two enzymatic steps are common to all branches of the aspartate derived amino acid pathway. Aspartate semi aldehyde dehydrogenase. Uh, and the other enzyme that is common to all three branches of aspartate pathway is encoded by a single Rabidopsid thaliana gene, AT1G14810. Next is lysine biosynthesis. In plants, lysine biosynthesis uh, is known to occur via a pathway that utilizes diamino palmitic acid, DAP, as an intermediate, right? So here, DAP pathway begins from aspartate. DAP 
Jai Amainu Pamilich Pathway, right? So it begins with S Pathage, as do the pathways to Mithyo 9, Trio 9, and Isodesign, as we have already discussed. The main trunk of all these pathways consists of two reactions aspartate phosphorylation followed by a reduction to form aspartate beta semi aldehyde right uh, catalyzed by enzyme aspartate kinase and aspartate semi aldehyde dehydrogenase then the first reaction in lysine biosynthesis which is specific to the dap pathway is the condensation of aspartate beta semi aldehyde and pyruvate to form dihydrodipicolinate DHP, which is catalyzed by enzyme dihydrodipicolinate uh, synthase enzyme, right? Then the second reaction of lysine biosynthesis is the formation of tetrahydrodipicolinate, which is catalyzed by dihydropicolinate reductase enzyme right then formation of ll diaminopaminate from tetrahydrodipicolinate in the presence of enzyme ll diaminopaminate uh, aminotransferase then with the help of enzyme diaminopaminate aminotransferase meso diaminopaminate is formed from ll diaminopaminate and in the final step l lysine is formed from meso diaminopaminate with the release of a carbon dioxide uh, molecule and the enzyme which is required for this reaction is diaminopamidate decarboxylase decarboxylation release of carbon dioxide next is chionine biosynthesis here homocerine dehydrogenase enzyme catalyzes the formation of homocerine from aspartate 4 semi aldehyde right the two bifunctional Arabidopsis thaliana enzyme AKHSDH1 and AKHSDH2 catalyze the formation of this homocerine. A single Arabidopsis thaliana gene AT4G35295 encodes homocerine kinase enzyme, which convert this homocerine to O phospho. Uh, L homocerine, right? Then the threonine synth uh, synthase enzyme. This threonine synthase enzyme, it's a phosphate dependent enzyme which catalyzes the final reaction of threonine biosynthesis. And uh, this enzyme is the first enzyme in the branch of the pathway leading to isodesign, right? So finally, L trionine is formed from O phospho L homocerine with the help of enzyme trionine uh, synthase. Right? Next is methionine biosynthesis. In plants, O phospho homocerine serves as the precursor for both trionine and methionine biosynthesis. Here, uh, sister thionine gamma synthase enzyme this enzyme converts this O phospho L homocerine into into sister thionine beta uh, sorry sister thionine right then next sister thionine beta lyase enzyme catalyzes homocysteine this formation as the second enzyme sister thion thionine beta lyase catalyzes this homocysteine formation this homocysteine formation as the second enzyme in the methionine biosynthetic pathway right a single gene at3g57050 encodes uh, sister thionine beta lyase enzyme then methionine synthase this enzyme which catalyzes the final reaction in the methionine biosynthesis pathway and leads to the formation of 
L-methionine. This enzyme is encoded by three genes in Arabidopsis thaliana, MS1, MS2, and MS3. Isoleucine biosynthesis. Here, two oxo uh, noit two oxobutanoid serve as a precursor for isoleucine biosynthesis. Here, acetolactate synthesis this enzyme. Catalyze the first step in the pathway from two oxobutanoid uh, to isoleucine, right? So next two enzymes in the isoleucine biosynthetic pathway are Keto acid uh, reductoisomerase and dihydroxy acid um, dehydrotase. Uh, these two enzymes remain uncharacterized in Arabidopsis thaliana but identified in other species, right? So, ketone acid reductoisomerase enzyme convert this two aceto uh, two hydroxy butyrate into 2,3-dihydroxy-3-methyl-valerate, uh, right? Then, branched chain amino acid amino transferase enzyme catalyze the final reaction in isoleucine biosynthesis pathway, right? This enzyme also catalyzes the first step in valine, leucine, and isoleucine catabolism, right? So this is all about um, biosynthesis of amino acids belong to aspartate family. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.